Hello, my name is Megan and welcome to my video on jackson Weiss syndrome. jackson Weiss syndrome is a genetic disorder caused by mutations on chromosome 10. It causes distinctive birth defects of the head, face, and feet. It is not known how often jackson Weiss syndrome occurs, but some individuals are the first in their families to have the disorder, while others inherit the genetic mutation in an autosomal dominant manner. In autosomal dominant disorders, the mutated gene occurs on an autosome and the person only needs a copy of it to inherit the disorder. Males and females equally are equally likely to inherit the genetic mutation and be affected by it. Children of a person with the autosomal dominant disorder have a 50% chance of inheriting the disorder. Normally at birth, the bones of a child's skull are not joined together. As the child grows older, they close up. In jackson Weiss syndrome, the skull bones join together or fuse too early. This is called craniocentosis. Craniocentosis can cause a mishappened skull, wildly spaced eyes, a bulging forehead, or an unusually flat, underdeveloped middle area of the face called mid-face mid hypoplasia. In jackson Weiss syndrome, there's also another distinctive group of birth defects, and these are located in the feet. Here is a picture of a child's feet who might have jackson Weiss syndrome. Right here, it shows that the big toes are short and wide, and they can also bend away from the other toes, kind of like they're doing here, not too much though. And also, the other toes can be unusually, the bones of some toes may be fused together, called syndactyly, or they're abnormally shaped. Although there are many mutations with the face and the feet, individuals with jackson Weiss syndrome normally have normal hands, and they also have normal intelligence and live a normal lifespan. The diagnosis of jackson Weiss syndrome is based on birth defects present at birth. There are other syndromes that include craniocentosis, such as Cruzon syndrome or Abert syndrome, but the foot abnormalities help distinguish jackson Weiss syndrome. If there is a doubt, though, you can do a genetic test to confirm the diagnosis. Some of the genetic tests that can be done to help determine if jackson Weiss syndrome is present. You could do a gene test, which examines the DNA, a chromosome test, which is checking for abnormal chromosomes, or a biochemical test, which checks the levels of certain proteins. Some of the birth defects present in jackson Weiss syndrome can be corrected or lessened by surgery. Treatment of craniocentosis and facial abnormalities, however, are usually treated by doctors and therapists who specialize in head and neck disorders. These surgeries will probably happen many different times and probably one surgery won't correct the facial abnormalities. Here are a couple of websites and links that could help to support the um, surgery that is needed. First we have the FACES website. It's the National Craniofacial Association, and the website is http www.faces cranio.org. A couple of others are Ameriface, which is http colon backslash backslash www.ameriface.org, and Children's Craniofacial Association, which is www.ccakids.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch my presentation on jackson Weiss syndrome, and I hope it was very informational and will encourage you to either explore further into the disorder, or it'll help if you think that the disorder may be present in someone that you know. Thank you.